finally we are going to self check the pelvic floor muscles so uh, make sure that your hands are clean you don't have any uh, like long fingernails sharp jagged edges things that might irritate this beautiful delicate skin that we have down here okay um, and make sure you have your favorite lubricant and a good position I, again, like a dry bathtub or a bathtub that has just a little bit of water in it. I think that's a very comfortable position, but if that doesn't work for you, then find some other position where you're kind of reclining and you're going to need to be able to insert a finger into the vaginal canal to be able to do this. Okay, so pelvis is here, pubic bone, tailbone. Remember our all of our anatomy that we've gone over so diligently in these last few sections. We're here at the pelvic floor muscles. The first thing that we're going to uh, go over is a muscle grading scale. So in physical therapy, we have what we call manual muscle testing, and we can test all the muscles of the body, all the voluntary muscles. And so we test them on a scale of zero to five, and then we give them a grade. So zero is no muscle function and five is normal. And so the same thing applies with the pelvic floor muscles, but it's a little bit of a different grading scale. We still have zero to five, zero is no muscle function, and five is normal. And then we give them the muscles grades uh, throughout one through four. Okay, so we're gonna start at zero. So zero is nothing. You insert your finger into the vaginal canal and you try to squeeze and you don't feel anything happening. You don't feel a squeeze around your finger and you don't feel the muscles pull the finger in. So that would be a zero. And this scale is called the Modified Oxford Grading Scale, and it was created or modified by uh, Dr. Laycock. So if you wanted to research that and look at the scale some more, that's another way that you can do it. And then we also have an infographic that we're attaching here. So zero. One would be just a flicker. So I'm gonna use my hand here to be a pretend vaginal canal. And then my finger is a finger that we're testing, your finger, okay? So a, a one would be just a, whew, just a barely a flicker. So, so it's not a squeeze, it's just barely a flicker. You can just barely tell that anything is happening. Two would be, okay, you actually maybe squeeze just a little bit, but you're not getting a lift in there. You're, the muscles aren't pulling your fingers up. Like if you think about the vaginal canal kind of being like an elevator shaft, and when you're squeezing, you're pulling that elevator car up. Okay, that's one example. Another example that I think a lot of people connect with is a blueberry. So if you had a blueberry here at the entrance of your vaginal canal and you're pulling that blueberry up and in. So that's two elements that we're looking at. We're looking at squeeze, so squeeze, and we're looking at lift. So we want those muscles to pull the finger up and in. So a two would be um, just a squeeze, just a gentle squeeze. A three would also, it's getting better, so it's a better squeeze and there's a little bit of lift there with the three. A four would be a, a squeeze and you're lifting. Um, and then a five would be really a great squeeze and a great lift. So there's a little bit of subjectivity there in terms of grading, but that gives you a concept of what we're looking at when we use that modified Oxford grading scale. Now, when we check the pelvic floor muscles, look at our table, we're checking a whole lot of other things. And so we'll go over each of those things in the table below for each set of muscles. The pelvic floor muscles have 19 muscles, depending on how you count. And so we're not going to be individually uh, testing each muscle. We're gonna kind of do in layers and sections. So step one was that modified Oxford grading scale, the strength scale. And now let's move on to uh, self-checking the superficial pelvic floor muscles.